Hello YouTube. <coughs> when I um, picked up this fish tank, they actually came with two bathtubs. One was just an empty one, and that's it there, covered in calcium, which I've just made up a frame, roughly. Nothing special, doesn't really need to be. For it to stand on. And I'll turn that into a grow bed when I get some um, some grow media. It did come with um, one of these. Can't really see that. One of these floating baskets with some expanded clay balls in it. That white stuff's just calcium. Being up in the Pilbara in Western Australia, the water's pretty disgusting. That's what you can see on the edge of the tub there is... Let's get that right. Can't really see it, but it's pretty well... Thick scale. See that discoloration's all... Um, calcium deposits. Which I'll uh, clean up before we plant it out. Like I said, I've got to get the expanded clay to put in there. And turn it into a basic bathtub aquaponics system. Yeah. I'm just going to make up a um, watering tube and stuff for it. I've got a a pump that came with that <coughs> that bathtub didn't have a filter or anything on it so I've just made one up out of a container with some holes in it and the stuffing out of an old teddy bear which I gave it a bit of a test run and it works well cleaned that water up a bit and I'll just uh, make up the plumbing so that it'll go from the outlet of the pipe there, out of the pump, up into the grow bed through a ring watering system. Most of the parts I've already got, I've had uh, sprinkler systems up here. So I've just used some spare bits and pieces from sprinkler systems. That, uh, that's the pipe for the top of the pump. And that'll go into the fish pond. Come up the side. And I've made a, just a ring of tubing which I've got to drill holes in yet. And that'll just sit in the bath. On top of the expanded clay when I get it. I'll just finish putting this pipe work back together and I'll come back. So I've just taken that mesh off so I can show you the, the pump. That's the homemade filter. Just need to straighten it up a bit. The pump's under there. Just there. Put the outlet going down. Just under the timber there. And coming up. Into the pipe work I've made into this which I'm um, just giving a tense test run one thing I've done is mounted it because the veranda's just there with no gutters we don't have gutters up here when it does rain it's monsoonal and that's only a few times a year but the runoff from the 
roof will come on to the garden bed there and to a smaller extent back of the fish pond there to help top it up with some clean water when we get it I'll be um, putting some shade cloth up along the side here because the sun just destroys everything just got the hose on me pumpkin it's starting to get a bit wilted in the hot another pumpkin coming out another one there every time a new uh, lot of shoots comes through I try and train it along the front here I might even put a bit of uh, mesh or something up along the front of the bath there just so I can train it onto the mesh so I can grow along it and support itself and I've got permission to rip out the kids sandpit which they only use maybe once a month for five minutes before they get bored with it I'll leave this back wall in and that side wall and then that front one and that side one I'll take out and gravel it the same as over here this used to be a like a rock garden type thing with weeds and stuff through it spent a couple of weeks removing all the river stone and stuff out of it and I graveled it made it all nice and level put a little corner garden in there tried out some button up pumpkin seeds on the windowsill for a few weeks and then planted some of them in there and there's two plants in here sort of one up the back there and one at the front and I also did the same on that back fence over there and that pumpkin is just going absolutely retarded I've already trimmed it back a half a dozen times just to try and keep it under control otherwise it would have been all on the back fence by now and there's a couple of decent sized pumpkins on that which will be ready in a few weeks I'm hoping and then there's another four which will be about a month or so away which will be good, some pumpkin soup and roast pumpkin coming up another thing I wouldn't mind doing is um, Rob's backyard gardening I think it is on YouTube he's got uh, root pouches and stuff so I was thinking about getting a couple of root pouches off him and maybe put one just in the corner there try and grow some potatoes or sweet potato or something maybe um, some beans or put some mesh up the front here and maybe some beans which would be pretty cool once I get this leveled out I'll put a couple of root pouches over here and maybe some string beans or something that climbs to help shade the fish we're just coming into winter here so or autumn has just started so daytime temperatures are getting down to about 35 highs the odd odd 38 degree sort of day but nothing like it was a month ago when it was 48 degrees for about two weeks so a bit of shade grow as much shade as I can while we can while it's cool and then uh, hopefully if I can get another couple of bathtubs I'll put another bathtub in the in beside this one so that I've got more volume of water and maybe even some more fish eventually if it comes to that and maybe another grow bed we'll see what happens with this one first this is all just a bit of a experiment and a bit of a play around I'd love to have a massive aquaponic system and 
veggie gardens and stuff everywhere that we rent up here so we're extremely limited to what we can do we're allowed to do gardening and stuff like that as long as it improves the place not detracts from it so all this can be basically removed if needed be so that's pretty much it it's going to be a while before anything of this progresses I've got to get a either try and make or buy a bell siphon there's, no, there's very limited on uh, supplies and stuff in the Pilbara for plumbing components and bits and pieces there is a local hardware store but they mostly deal with um, retic type bits and pieces and basic plumbing stuff um, again because of the houses of company houses and everyone rents they don't stock plumbing supplies so that people can't fix their own plumbing issues they may have you've got to get a contractor in to do it properly but um, next month we'll be going down to Perth so I'll be able to go to an aquaponics shop and buy some grow media some fish food because I've only got goldfish granules at the moment and um, I'm pretty sure these are silver perch in there not that I can get them to come out they are um, hiding up the back there swimming around that filter at the moment underneath that fake lily pad there put that mesh back on too later so I don't lose any more that's pretty much it for the moment like I said this won't progress much at all when I do get a siphon I'll put up a video of me fitting that up giving it a test run same as putting in the grow media but until then it's um, this is pretty much how it's going to be until either me poor fish die or we get some grow media start growing some veggies all right YouTube hope you enjoy this I'm by no means a professional plumber or anything this is all just pretty much for shits and giggles just to see if I can do it like I said once I get out of here I'll buy a proper system and set it up properly and grow a multitude of vegetables all right thanks for watching see you later